It's the man. Welcome to Show Face Stools. Call me what you want. Just don't call me woke. You know, rocking with the town favorite, Show Face Stools. It's Big Gotham. And you already know the town versus everybody at all times. Check it out. So, Drake has dropped another diss track. This is aiming at Kendrick Lamar. And I guess his wife, whose name is Whitney. Okay? Now, look. I haven't heard this this yet, so this is my first time listening to it. Make sure y'all hitting the like and share in the video. This is another leaked diss track. This is aiming towards Kendrick Lamar. Smash the like, share the video. We won't get right into it. I'm not even wasting time. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, so this is this is like I said, this is what you they got so far, right? This clearly ain't the full this, but it sounds good. Especially so he actually shot at at, at, at future and Rick Ross too. I heard that wing stop ball. That sounds like Drake. This sounds better than the first. The first one don't sound too Drake like to me. Not not current Drake. That first one sounds very rushed. This sounds good. This is not the full disc though. The full the full one is not out yet. They saying that the full one out. It's not out yet. The full leak is not out yet. It sounds good though. All right, it sounds good. I see shots being taken in future, as well as Rick Ross. It sounds good so far. I'm gonna run it back. It sounds good. This is the Drake that I want to hear. That first thing, that first one, I didn't like that. That wasn't hitting for me. You dig? That first one, no. It's just not it, gang. The B2, the B, no. But overall, the bars wasn't it. It wasn't there. This sounds more like Drake. This sounds, he's rapping. When we want to hear niggas rap. Let's run that back, man. Smash the like button, share the video. Look. Yeah, you never heard nothing about how Drake stop, but a Drake flop. Cause I make that little boy K not turn K pop. I see if these niggas future sleeping at rest stops and have your soul earnings and profits come from that wing stop. I'll get your joke blows, buttoned up and your coup top for talking all that hoop fly. Fuck them up, pray and poop out. Highway me. Highway me. Won't you come over, girl? Get high with me. Tell me about your insecurities, impurities, and shortcomings. Baby, I have your wall coming in, more coming, more life, more money. Success, more dreams. Fuck it, girl, more everything. I know you don't like all the travel decorations in your house. You wanted something tasteful, but it's bothering you now. I said that interior decorated to your house. Incorporate a couple hours and tell a baby in the world. Well, let's stick with it for now. Niggas try to rekindle their careers off my child. No, let's talk about it. I'm about to push all the buttons. Push they keep that. Push and keep that. It sound good so far. It sound good. It's disrespectful as hell. He's talking to his wife. So you know Kendrick is going to try to tear your head off, gang. All right, now, 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 the Kendrick, the Kendrick this was another warning shot, it seems. Either it's a warning shot or it's a piece, you know, it could be a piece of a diss track. Because, again, we're listening to leaks. When it comes to leak tracks, whether it's a diss track or not, you're only getting a piece of a record. It'd be different if it was like a Rick Ross. Rick Ross actually released his diss track nor Drake nor Kendrick actually released a diss. I want this to be very clear. All right? Ax said it was so, so, <laughs> so niggas is just going to keep saying things as AI now, right? <laughs> 
Yo, listen. I don't know what's AI and what's not. The first Drake this, everyone thought was AI, including me. Guess what? Drake said it wasn't AI. It was that was Drake. Wasn't the best. Rick Ross dropped. That was clearly Rick Ross. Kendrick dropped. That sounded exactly like Kendrick Lamar. You got other people saying that it's AI. I think it's Kendrick. It's a leak. Kendrick himself did not release that. It could be a piece of the diss track. It might not be the full diss track. Sounds like a warning shot. Sounds like a rough draft. Now we got this track. Hi, Whitney. This sounds like a piece of a full diss track because, again, it is a leak. Leaks usually are pieces of a record, not the full record most times. You dig? <laughs> Negus Dawu says, if this is AI, the world is over. I agree, champ. If this is AI, the world is completely done. <laughs> Respectfully, gang. You dig? <laughs> That's definitely Drake. I don't care what nobody says. <clears throat> that sounds exactly. This sounds more like Drake than Drake's original diss that we heard. This sounds exactly like Aubrey, to, in my opinion. This is better. I like this. I like this one better. To be honest, even though we're only getting a piece, so far so good. We're getting shots at Future. We're getting shots at Rick Ross. We're getting disrespect to Kendrick Lamar's wife, including Kendrick Lamar. This is how diss tracks are supposed to be. They're supposed to be infinite amounts of disrespect. Okay, this is what we need to see. We need to see some type of blood, champ. We need to see war. This is hip-hop war, champs. All right, this is what it is. All right, nobody is going to hurt anyone, everything is going to be put on wax on record. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be. We don't need any violence, James, unless it's on wax. We need violence on wax, that is not physical violence. You dig verbal violence is completely fine. You dig <laughs> the real YouTube plug says, If this is AI, I'm starting an all AI label at this point. You might as well, Chip. If this is it, <laughs> Sir Robert the Third says, "Nah, this definitely fire. If it's real, this is the finisher." Well, this ain't the full. This they saying they got the full. This ain't the full one though. The full one hasn't dropped yet. It looks like it has. It hasn't dropped. This is just a piece. It's leaked. You dig? <laughs> None of this better be fake. That's all I'm saying. Ain't no AIs in there. Come on, gang. So, yeah, you never heard that my Drake stop, but a Drake flop. Cause I make that little boy K not turn K pop. I see if these niggas future sleeping at rest stops. And have your soul earnings and profits come from that wing stop. I get your joke blows, but end up in your coup time. For talking all that hoop fly, fuck them with gray and boob. I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting. Won't you come over, girl? Get high with me. Tell me about your insecurities, impurities, and shortcomings. Baby, I have your wall coming in, more coming, more life, more money, more success, more dreams. Fuck it, girl, more everything. I know you don't like all the travel decorations in your house. He said, I guess you Joe Blow's buttoned up, then you crew top. What did that mean? Blows, crew top, Joe Blow's buttoned up, crew top. I don't know what you meant by that, but <clears throat> I see I see the, the doubles there. See where you're going. <laughs> but crew top. What do you mean by that? <laughs> the real YouTube plus is all we dropped the bag with that OVO sweatshop. The right is working overtime. Nigga, these niggas not getting no sleep. These niggas not resting. He got these niggas making eight diss tracks per day. These niggas is staying up long nights, no food, no water. They starving. They're my, they acting. Listen, he got them in child labor. He got grown men in child labor, nigga. This nigga is the next Diddy. He's out here trafficking writers, nigga, from around the world. He's trafficking writers, nigga. Via plane, putting them in, in the rooms with no windows and doors. And they writing their hearts out for days, champ. He says, we're going to have at least... 80 diss tracks ready by next Sunday. All right. You trafficking writers. You're going to catch a Rico case with all these writers, gang. They're writing against their will at this point. You dig? You, you, kidnapped, you kidnapping niggas out of their homes to write. This is, <laughs> this is a very abusive form of trafficking. Whatever you're doing over there, Drake, you need to relax. All right. You got you got men in all black jumping into the homes of retired rappers to write for you, gang. 
You dig? I already, I already, I already reacted to K Doc. Check the channel, champ. I already reacted to Kendrick already. I already reacted to K Dot. But your boy Aubrey is trafficking writers. These niggas is in padded rooms writing against their will. Okay. Sounds good though, champ. These niggas will have 80 disc records ready for Drake by next week Sunday. Promise. <laughs> Listen, gang, it sounds good to me so far. Whenever the real ones drop, that'll be great. <laughs> that'll be awesome. Uh, Kendrick's disc, if you missed it, check the channel. I already re responded to that. Uh, seems like it's uh, either a warning shot or it's a piece of a record that's not done because it is a leak. He didn't release it himself. You dig? He never released it himself. You feel me? But we're gonna have to look into Drake and his um his trafficking allegations. Um these writers are writing against their will, champ. Okay. I guarantee you the man has 80 diss tracks ready by next Sunday. He's battling a lot of niggas. You got the weekend, ASAP Rocky, Metro Boom, and Future, Rick Ross. Who else? Uh, Jake, maybe even J. Cole. I don't know. I don't know what J. Cole's doing. He was on the album. <laughs> Travis Scott is definitely getting wrecked because he's not dragging Travis Scott. All right. Nav, nigga. Nav. Yes, Nav. Nav, I'll hit it. Nav, you're going to catch a nasty one. <laughs> like I said in the last live stream, if you was there, Nav, you need to sit down, gang. Nav, this ain't the battle for you. You need to relax. Okay. You know, you, you, you like, you like the friend in Johnny Quest, nigga. And I don't know, I don't know how many of y'all ever seen Johnny Quest, but this nigga, you, you the nigga, you that nigga. You Johnny Quest's best friend, nigga. You ain't had no business jumping in the mix. I don't even know why Metro invited you to do so. But Nav, stop it. <laughs> Cut it out, gang. Nav, I don't know what you got going on, but <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Kendrick dropped one five minutes ago. Oh, champ, we got to do another live. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Hold up, man. You, you, you got to be kidding me. Send the link. Somebody send the link. Instagram at Showfit. Somebody send the link. Hurry up. Hurry up and send the link. Come on, gang. <laughs> Yo, gang, send the link. Hurry up. <laughs> I need that link, gang. Send that. Hurry up. <laughs> Ain't no way K dot drop. He dropped. Oh no. Come on, man. Let me check my phone, man. This is ridiculous. This will be a long day. I could already, I could already tell it's gonna be a day. It's gonna be a day. Come on, fam. Ah, you're kidding. There were certain individuals allowed to hear Kendrick Lamar's response today. It's coming, and it's not from four years ago. It's new. What's the new joint? Ah. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me see. Somebody send the link. I'm looking. I'm looking. Kendrick Lamar brings out J. Cole Lawrence. Wait a minute. J. Cole and Kendrick was on stage together. J. Cole and Kendrick is on stage. Hold on, gang. What's up? Click the link. Where's the link? Hold on, 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 hold on. Give me a second. Because I'm confused right now. One shot kill. Salute. We're going to get into that. I'm going to do another live, though. I'm not putting this on the same live. <laughs> I'm not putting this on the same. We're going to do another live. Hold on. Kendrick Lamar, one shot kill. We're going to get to that. <laughs> one shot kill. Okay, I see it. Wait a minute. Oh, I already replied to this. Y'all niggas is late. So y'all, y'all, so y'all people that tell me I already responded to it already. I thought y'all meant there was another one. <laughs> Let 
listen, y'all. That Kendrick Lamar diss, I already reacted to it already. I thought y'all man, he dropping another. I already reacted to it. I, I dropped it. If you look at the channel, I just dropped it like an hour ago. Man, y'all had me hyped for one second. He got two. What's the second one? Because <laughs> this is the same. This is the same one I just heard. I just listened to. This is literally the same one. The one shot I just reacted to already. Yeah, this right. I already reacted to. Oh, this is something. Already heard this, fam. You already reacted to that. Now, as far as the other one is concerned, if there's another one, I ain't hear it. You dig? <laughs> if there's a number, if there's another one, I didn't hear it yet. So that one y'all talking about already reacted to it an hour ago. If you pay, if you look at the page, you'll see it. So it looks like whenever whenever they decide to actually drop the full diss tracks, when he decides to do that, then we could talk. But Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole seem to be on good terms, but he still dissed this nigga. So what are we doing? What are we doing, gang? <laughs> Kendrick Lamar. Oh, this is old. Y'all think it, no, let me tell you something. These, these, these news outlets are disgusting, bro. The clout chasing that these niggas be doing is nasty. I'm looking at this page saying, look, Kendrick Lamar brought J. Cole on stage days after the beef. And guess what? The whole time that footage is from 2017, my nigga. It's not even new. It's not even new, bro. It's not even new. Y'all niggas is trying to clout chase. <laughs> Y'all trying to clout chase took him out. The nigga K Dot bought J. Cole on stage. No, the, no, he did not. It's old footage from 2017. Nasty word. Uh Kalena Kalana says Drake is always deflecting, talking about people, women, and other people, but not the main person. Fair. Let's run that Drake. Let's let's run that Drake back, gang. Let's run. Let's run that Drake back. Let's do it. Come on. Got too many apps. Hey, Amen. You're not getting no this album from nobody. <laughs> that was already dropped from Future and Metro, gang. Okay? You ain't getting no this album. If you get a this album from Drake, that would be different. If a nigga makes a this, if Drake makes a this album, that would be crazy. That would be the first time a nigga dropped in a whole album dedicated to this. The only nigga I've seen do an entire project dissing niggas was Joe Budden way back when. Remember when Joe Budden had beef with everybody, nigga? He dissed the game. He dissed Jay-Z. He dissed your unit. He dissed everyone. Nigga got beef with everybody, nigga. Old, old school jump off Joey Crack. Uh, Not Joey Crack, but jump off Mouse. That Joe Budden. Way back when. You're talking like 04-ish. Do like 06. Yeah, that, that Joe Budden. All right. But uh, that would be crazy. Uh, Kalena says, because Cole wasn't the first person K-Dot made apologize. I think Cole's the third person. I don't think Cole, I don't think K-Dot made Cole apologize because guess what? According to my sources, Cole felt stupid because 
in reality, K Dot never really dissed him in the first place. K Dot never dissed him in the first place. And he felt stupid because there was tracks leaked from Drake's camp of J uh, Drake dissing J. Cole. Drake actually dissed J. Cole and pretended to be cool with him. That's the real reason J. Cole apologized because he figured out that Drake was a sucker. And he is a sucker. He might make good music, but he's definitely a sucker, nigga. You called the police on French Montana, bro. All right, you did a lot of sucker things. You dissed a lot of people behind me back. And you're mad that a lot of other artists smashed girls that you smashed or were trying to smash. That's why you and Future ain't cool no more. You and The weekend ain't cool no more. On The weekend, low-key, you know, is almost as big of an artist as Drake is. People be forgetting how big The week The weekend is a huge artist, man. Don't forget he did a Super Bowl halftime show. Ain't no regular nigga doing no damn Super Bowl halftime show. You better understand that. No generic regular artist gets to do a Super Bowl halftime show. The weekend did. The weekend is huge. A lot of his old songs get a lot of rotation still. You hear it everywhere you go. If you shop around, you hear the weekend. You've been hearing the same weekend songs for years. You dig? <laughs> Marcus says, quick question. Do you think J. Cole, do you think J. Cole could get back in this if he actually comes all out this thing or is it rap source? Nobody believes J. Cole. He there's no point in him coming back in because he already killed his validity. Nobody believes if J. Cole jumps back in, it's it's not gonna be as it's not gonna have as much conviction as before because niggas done seen him back out, gracefully bow out. He said it ain't good for his mental health. Okay, cool. No one will be convinced that he's actually meaning what he's saying because he bowed out already. You know what I'm saying? Ain't cease and desist through lawyers, not cops. <laughs> Listen, the cease and desist letter <clears throat> isn't necessarily police, but God damn it, <laughs> it might as well be police police work based on what he did i mean you can do something police like without the police being involved you know what i'm saying for example if a nigga wanted to you know contact a authority figure at a venue that you're performing at to shut your shut your whole set down that's some police type behavior you dig <laughs> that's police type behavior you know what i'm saying when Jay-Z shut down Beanie Siegel's set in Philly, that was police-type behavior. He was on probation. That was some police-type behavior. So, again, <laughs> you can do police-type behavior, <laughs> you know, without, you know, someone actually being arrested or whatnot. But it is what it is. But J. Cole messed up. Ain't no point in him coming back in because if he come back, if he comes back in, it's not going to hit the same because, nigga, you already bowed out. Why are you coming back in? It don't have, it don't got the same conviction. You know what I'm saying? It just don't got the same conviction once you already made your statement that you're not in it anymore. Freshest in class is J. Cole in the G League. Simba knocked on your door. I've seen Simba go at him, but the problem is nobody knows who the hell Simba is. Salute to him, though. I think Simba's dope, but Simba, you ain't got no business involving yourself in it. <laughs> it's like, damn, nigga, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Types like, damn, champ, you just came out of left field. It's cool, though. I mean, it's hip hop, but just understand that due to the era that we're in, nobody actually cares enough <laughs> to, to give son, you know, any flowers for what he did. Divine pieces. If this AI rap is over, cause that AI track is nasty. That's not an AI track though. Kalena says Drake even says something about Jama Rant because he hit Lotto Little Sister, the same girl Drake made a song about. Like you see what I'm saying? And this is the type of you know Karen energy and emo energy that Drake has, which is why people are against him. Because nigga, you're dissing Jama Rant because Jama Rant 
hit Lotto's little sister first, bro? Are you serious? This nigga done fell in love with Lotto's little sister. First and foremost, bro, you made a he also made a song for Shorty. You made a song for Lotto's little like bro. Let's be completely honest. All these, all that behavior, all of these chicks are treasures, bro. These are all bops. Lotto's sister's a bop. Lotto was a bop. All of these girls are bops. All these industry shorties are bops. You aren't the first to hit, and you goddamn sure word will not be the last. You dig? Nigga mad at John Morant because he, he thrashed a girl that was thrashed by others. You will not be the first nor the last champ. Only way the other characters could ever compete with Drake is spilling the T-balls. <laughs> Nigga, that's how I felt about Drake's first diss. Nigga spilling tea, gang. <laughs> Salute to Austin Wicks. He says the KDOT song you played earlier is AI confirmed by Daylight TDE member High Whitney has been confirmed AI as well. Who confirmed it? Chan. Who confirmed it? <laughs> I want to know who confirmed it. Daylight is not a reliable source. I keep telling y'all that. A nigga's a troll, bro. Is a troll and always is forever a troll. I'm not taking nothing Daylight says serious. The show shopper says all these dudes jump out the window for girls, though, except Future. Because Future don't give a damn, and that's why Future beefing with son. Niggas want to jump out the window for some treach, nigga. Imagine that. Imagine jumping out a window for a shorty who's going to give it up to the next rap nigga anyway. Whether you know it or not. Blue Exodus says Drake put clothes pins in his head, and y'all still championing him in the comments. I don't know what the problem is. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? J. Blue says Drake equals Karen energy. You want to push a button? Let his ops perform rocking Palestinian flag t-shirts. <laughs> hey, gang. I said it yesterday. See, what happened yesterday, the nigga Drake messaged his mom <laughs> and posted it in response to Rick Ross. This nigga says, I think Rick Ross is being racist, mom. He's being racist. Nigga, you are Karen. You are a Karen. Mom, Drake's being, I mean, Ross is being racist towards me. That's what he's doing. He's calling me a white boy. That's because he knows that you adapt more to that side of you, champ. I said yesterday Drake was a Karen, nigga. The first diss track he did was a T vlog type of deal. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Also says, why people acting weird, bro? This ish ain't even fun no more if we can't be real. Nigga, I don't know if it's AI. You don't know if it's AI. We don't have nothing to talk about until it's actually confirmed by someone who's reliable. Daylight not reliable, nigga. I talk to Daylight all the time for years. I knew Daylight before you niggas ever knew what a Daylight was. That nigga was on KOTD almost 11, 12 years ago. Nigga, I had him on Facebook. We used to talk all the time. Like, come on, gang. <laughs> what we doing? Oh, this is just a Drake hating stream. No, it's not. I said that this diss track that he dropped sounds good. Drake is a sucker, but he makes good music. He's still a sucker, though. Just because he's a sucker doesn't mean I hate the nigga. So I gotta hate a nigga <laughs> because he because he's a sucker doesn't mean I hate him. He's just a sucker. What do, what you want me to do? Academic said Drake texted him and said it's AI. <laughs> it is with a look that AI sound good, champ. <laughs> if it's AI, it sound good. That's what I'm gonna say. If if these is AI, <laughs> it sure as hell sound good, champ. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> nigga telling his mom that Rick Ross is racist. Like, nigga, what we doing? Cut it out, bro. That's late. Nigga said <laughs> Ross is racist. 
know what I mean? It's getting it's getting out of control. <laughs> Schoolboy and Daylight both say the real K.1 is funny as F. Listen, we going to see about all that. We going to see about all that. Is this a K. Glaze channel? First of all, I'm not even a K. fan. But you can glaze your way to the timeout section. That's what you can do for me, champion. You're going to time you out. You know, the man and glaze don't go together. But I'm going to tell you what goes together. You in that corner over there in your room. That goes together. Glazing who? We don't glaze over here, champ. That's what you do in the corner. I don't know what you're talking about, champion. You go ahead and take five, nigga. Glaze, you, you talking to me? Nah, you can talk to that wall, though, respectfully. You have a conversation with that, that wall you're looking at, huh? Yeah, you talk to that. You, you're not talking to me, champ. Respectfully. There's no way. You can have a nice conversation with that nice wall you got in that room over there, champ. All right? You do that. Hope you got some posters up in there too, champ. Maybe them posters will have a conversation with you. All right? Yeah, we ain't doing that respectfully. Uh, respect, we ain't doing that. Y'all, you, huh? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Come on, gang. <laughs> you you got to do better. <laughs> okay. The showstopper says, Cannabis is about to throw his hat in the ring. <laughs> he needs to sit his ass down. Salute to Cannabis. But Cannabis, have a seat. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, chant. Listen, I'm not fighting for Kada, and I'm damn sure ain't fighting for Drake. You know, you know how many times I done roasted Kendrick on this? Nigga, I've roasted Kendrick and Drake. I'm not no, bro, I'm not no avid Kendrick and Drake listener. I'm really not. <laughs> everyone, everyone catches wreck on this channel. But look, if, if these, listen, I'm going to say this. If these, this is our AI. <laughs> if these, <laughs> this is an AI. This is insane. And I'm scared for the future. If this is what AI is, I'm scared, champ. I am very, very afraid. <laughs> I am very, very afraid for the future. If this is supposed to be AI, nigga, what's going on? You know, this is kind of scary. Bloody Mira, hope saying your name right, says, your niggas bugging K dot got cold the F out the way real quick so he can light Drake up. You don't know the art of rap. Uh, it seems that way. It seems like he was trying to violate Cole more than anything in his diss track. Better than Jay-Z? You need to stop this madness. Better than who? Hold? Cut it out. Stop. 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 Don't ever disrespect Hove like that. You sound insane. Hove is one of one, nigga. Hove is one of one. You mean in this rap? Oh, okay, okay. My bad, Jay Z. My fault, champ. My fault, champ. All right, okay, okay. All right, uh, you, you you get all right, all right. I ain't going all right, champ. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's make it short, champ. Like, what you mean? <laughs> Come on, gang. That's cool, though. All right. This and this. Okay, cool. That's cool. We ain't, we ain't want you wilding out. Like, wait, what you mean, ho? Chad. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can't do that. <laughs> I got you, champ. I got you, champ. You're good. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Why y'all think we hating Drake so much? Just because Drake is a sucker doesn't mean that we hate his music. I think Drake has amazing music, but he's a sucker. He's proven time and time again that he's definitely a sucker. Nigga tried to kiss Riri. Riri said no. All right? Nigga, this ASAP Rocky because ASAP Rocky got Riri and he didn't. 
okay? There's other chicks out here outside of Rihanna. I'm just saying. Is Rick the Thanos of the rap game right now? Uh, no. But Thanos wasn't Thanos wasn't as dominant as you would like to believe. Because if you actually read the comics, Thanos got wilded on quite a few times. If you, it, it, I'm very tapped into the comic world. I used to collect comics as a child. Uh, Thanos got tweaked on a lot. Thanos wasn't as dominant as he looks in the cinemas. Thanos got violated. You dig? Uh-oh, here we go again. How he is sucking you talking about him. If he, first of all, everyone is talking about Drake. What does me talking about him have anything to do with him not being a sucker? You you see how that doesn't make any sense, bro? I'm just saying. Bro, it don't make sense. You dig? <laughs> who who has he actually bodied though? That's what, that's what I want to know. You know? Who has he bodied though? You dig? Listen, Riri don't want nothing to do with him, no. The fact of the matter is this. Chasing buns, whether you smashed or not, is, is sucker movements. If a shorty is done with you and you still chase her and she wants someone else, what do you look like? A sucker. Yes, that could be anybody. Mon says, can we all agree that Drake is a super snake and all of this is not happening for no reason? Mon, so we can... Very much agree to that 1,000%. We know why everyone is coming for Drake. I know why everyone is coming for Drake. He's done some snake things, and a lot of it is because of women. Drake definitely body bagged Meek Mill. The sad part about this is Meek Mill is going to drop a diss track on Wale, and it's dropping soon. I know nobody gives a damn that Meek Mill is dropping this diss track. He's going to diss Wale. I'm not lying. I got people that <clears throat> is very close to Rick Ross and MMG and Triple C's. Meek Mill is going to drop a diss track on Wale very soon. I know y'all don't give a damn. Neither do I. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> uh, I don't know why y'all keep thinking I'm hating on Drake. I don't hate on anyone. He's just a sucker. In how many songs is Drake stolen? A lot. They have compilation videos of Drake stealing a lot of music. This doesn't take away from the fact that the diss track is cold, but they keep saying AI, 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 AI. I don't hear the AI, but if this is AI, I'm scared. I'm frightened, champ. I'm afraid for the future. All right. Freshness in class is bringing women to the table in tea time automatically. Marcus says, be real. I think they all snakes because, yeah, it was all cool. Now you dropping all their secrets. Well, what you need to realize is there was people who had a silent beef with Drake for the longest. There was a lot of silent. Every So everything is his works. Everyone who's beefing with Drake been beefing with Drake. Some of the people that was beefing with Drake, you didn't know was beefing with Drake till now. Understand? They're making Drake into an underdog by jumping him. Metro overplayed his hand. I don't think he did. And Rick Ross is going to be dropping more diss tracks, just so y'all know. It's coming. All right. Theodore says that's why that he slapped him because he stole his track. Uh, I don't think that's why he slapped him. But I also want you to understand that's not the first time Diddy slapped Drake. Diddy has attacked Drake multiple times. There's There might be... I'm not sure if there's any on video, but they, they're telling me there's actually video footage of Diddy wilding Drake out, but they're not going to drop it. There's more footage of Diddy wilding Drake out. It's on video, too, but we'll, we'll, we'll never see it. Just letting you know. Nick T says, Drake is guilty for sure, but equally to these dudes' women... There is an obvious loyalty issue once you reach that level of class. Everyone has beef with this dude. Everyone hates him. He's still hard. Pause. Pause. I hear, I hear what you're saying, but pause, nigga. 
Master Mom says, R.I.P. to Old Dirty Bastard, one of the best lyricists in the world has ever seen. I disagree. But salute to ODB. I disagree wholeheartedly. When did ODB become the best lyricist in the world, Chip? What makes you say that? What did you eat this morning that made you say that? Is my next question. What did you have? Salute to ODB, RIP ODB, but nigga, what? They're saying a lot of, uh, you know, off the wall things. Lord, Lord, what's popping? The mayor says this. What the hell are y'all talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wanna be fake D boy? You don't know what you're talking about. And I'm not even a Rick Ross fan. Let me be very clear. The people I'm talking about, I'm not really. Fan. I'm beyond. I'm a fan of Future, not really a fan of Jake Cole, Drake, Kendrick, Rick Ross. I'm, I'm. Those are not my go tos. If I'm listening to music, Future is a go to. I listen to Future, and I haven't made mention of him yet. Rick Ross was an actual D boy. These are actual facts. You said a wanna be D boy. Go tell him that. <laughs> Tell him and tell his people he's a wannabe D-boy. Mom says DMX told y'all about this vampire Drake a long time ago. Did he? I need to find that, that footage. He built his rap rep off the real freeway Rick Ross. He named himself Rick Ross. But I don't think his rap career is based on that man's life. <laughs> But he was indeed selling dope. So was Young Cheesy. All right. Those are real people who was really selling work. Regardless of his occupation, the man was indeed selling that, that product. You might not like it or believe it, but I'm telling you that's actually what happened. Just saying. Marco says, facts, you ever seen DMX Breakfast Club interview when he said he don't like nothing about Drake? I probably forgot about it. Listen, a lot of people don't like Drake. Do I like Drake? I like his music. I think some of his music is amazing, but he's a sucker. Uh, yeah. I know. I know, champ. I remember DMX telling uh, Breakfast Club ODB was the best lyricist he ever heard, Chip. That's because he was high. That's why he said that. He wasn't in his right mind. When he said those things, he was bugging. A super Silver Surfer chooses to give me the definition of a sucker. Let's hear what Urban Dictionary had to say. He says, a sucker is someone who chooses to mute versus having the conversation or bodying. Bro pulls a weak sucker move against me, then talks about others being a sucker. Were you the one that I put on timeout? That was you, Chad. Oh. Did you like the way the wall spoke back to you when you was on timeout, Chad? Did you enjoy that? Did the wall give you a good, you know, convo when you looked at that wall, Chad? I'm just asking. Cooper's News said, DMX said, he would beat Drake up in the elevator if he caught. Damn, why he why he wanna put violence on your boy Aubrey? Damn, I didn't know it was that deep. He said that. I must have missed it. I must have fell asleep that day. Hey champ, don't be mad at me because you earned yourself a good timeout. Don't get mad at me, champ. I put you on timeout because you was wildin', nigga. Me and Glaze don't go together. <laughs> okay. Me and Glaze just don't fit well. Pause. All right? That's all you need to know. All right? Mr. Clean Anthony says there's a lot of rappers that don't like Drake. It's a reason for that. Mastermind says DMX later came back, squashed the beef with Drake before he died. Interesting. Ah, champ. Listen, gang. Yeah, people are sensitive in general, though. 
Hey, listen, I respect people who have their own opinion. That's what I, I, we can't all think the same or hear the same things. We all have our own opinion. But when DMX said ODB was the greatest lyricist, that nigga was bullying. R.I.P. DMX. But he's tweaking. Listen, gang, make sure y'all hit the like button and share the video, man. <laughs> you know, if there's any more diss tracks or AIs that drop, I'll let you know. <laughs> I keep my eyes open, gang. All right, but yeah, this 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 has been an interesting morning, though. I will say that interesting morning or afternoon, depending on where you live. But look, it's the mayor, the one and only real New York mayor, F. Eric Adams, and you rocking with the town favorite, show face news, it's big Gotham, and you already know it's the town versus everybody at all times. Make sure you like the video, hit the like, hit the like. Hit the like, share the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. More content will be happening later, all right? Y'all stay tuned for more. Make sure you hit the like button on your way out or on your way in. Share the video. Subscribe to Show Face News right now. We got more content coming. Salute to the chat as always. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on, gang.